But on the social network today, we are going to be looking at online posts by university students and whether in certain cases the university is muzzling online dissent or whether certain statements being made by students is being taken up and they are either being uh, put forward in front of the university question for the comments and is it in a sense questioning free speech how often is it happening and does there need to be a system which allows universities and students to engage as far as the social media is concerned on various levels with a much greater understanding we're going to be discussing that today but first up the big trending topic today and that on twitter was a very tragic one the stampede which took place in madhya pradesh and there have been a lot of tweets a lot of concern more than a hundred people who've died because because of that and in fact Shivrat Singh Chauhan the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh who's been facing a lot of flack from the Congress was on Twitter where he promised that justice would be done that compensation would be given and answered questions which were given to him from Anand Mahindra who's also of course very deeply present on Twitter there was an engagement which took place between the two of them and we are going to uh, look, take a closer look at that as well but what the Datia stampede has done has reminded people across the country that the problem of temple stampedes is very real. It happens over and over and over again and never is enough done to prevent it. The question, the government should have done more, security should have done more, should people have been more aware? All of these being asked even as we mourn the more than 100 who died. We asked our viewers to send in some video blogs and this is what they had to say. Abhi jo Madhya Pradesh ki jo ghatna hai, ye ek bohut badi ghatna ka sakte hai is desh ki कि जो कि फिर से एक हिस्ट्री में हमारे यहाँ एक दर्ज हो चुका है एटलीस्ट चाहिए कि वहाँ पे कुछ सिक्योरिटी हो और सिक्योरिटी को तैनात करके एक सिस्टमेटिक वे से वहाँ पर लोगों को दर्शन कराए वह उस मंदिरों में और लोगों के लोगों को भी समझनी चाहिए इस बात को कि से जब ज़्यादा भीड़ हो चुकी है तो ये ना करें कि किसी की बातों में अफवाह में आ जाए और वहाँ पर भगदड़ मचा मचा दें जो मनुष्य का जीवन बहुत अनमोल है सरकार को भी चाहिए कि इसे एक सिस्टमेटिक वे में लोगों की भावनाओं को समझे सरकार को एटलीस्ट पहले से प्री प्लानिंग होना चाहिए कि नहीं यहाँ पे पिलग्रिमेज है यहाँ पे तीर्थ स्थान है यहाँ पे पहले से लोगों को सिक्योरिटी के साथ तैनात करके रखे सभी को वो क्यूब में रखे ताकि कोई किसी तरह का अफवाह ना उड़े फाइनली यही कहना चाहता हूँ कि सरकार को एटलीस्ट ध्यान तो देना ही चाहिए इस मामले में क्योंकि वो इस तरह का घटना अक्सर देखते हैं but now for our big discussion of the day, the English and Foreign Language University from Hyderabad had show cause notices issued to two students because of Facebook posts that they put together. We have one of those students with us, Katie Hafiz, uh, from the English and Foreign Language University. We also have Dr. Prakash Kona, who's the Deputy Proctor of EFLU, also with me in studio, Kumar Sundaram, co-founder of India Resists. Uh, let's first start off with you, um, Katie Hafiz. Can you tell us what happened? Just put the sequence of events there in front of us. Yeah, see, this is not an individual issue or an issue of a particular university. This is the situation taking place, this is a situation building up all over the universities of this country. That, uh, see, what happened to us, the university dean of students' welfare called a meeting to elect election commission members for the upcoming students' union election. The, the, deputy, dean, the deputy dean of students' welfare, Mr. Tariq Sheikh, made an anti-reservation remarks and uh, one stu uh, some students protested there. They raised a voice against it and it went un unheard. So they went to the Facebook and posted a status against it. I commented there. We, uh, the university issued show course notice to both of us to give explanation before the upcoming uh, Friday. Otherwise we will get punished. That was the university saying. Right. Uh, so let's put yeah. the question to uh, Dr. Kona, who's with us. Dr. Kona, uh, this was a Facebook status. Uh, of course, these are people well within their rights to make a Facebook status about issues which affect them even in the university. What's the need for a show cause notice? Look, uh, I mean, literally, when we, when we talk about show cause notice, it just means show the cause. You know, we want a reason why he made these comments. It doesn't mean, uh, I mean, don't mistake it for disciplinary action. One thing is that and second thing, I would like to object to what my friend Afiz here says about uh, my colleague, the Deputy Dean of Student Welfare. He never made any anti-reservation remarks and I think unfairly comments are being attributed to him, you know. And this is the problem we have, you know, you know, when teachers are individually targeted, especially when they occupy positions of administration, I mean, how do they do their duty, you know, when they're constantly being targeted 
along uh, caste or communal lines. You know, so we think that that's a bit unfair. You know.